All right. Happy Friday, everybody. It is almost the weekend. Hallelujah. Um, so today I kind of wanted to go over this book that I had got um, last weekend. It's really cool. Um, I'm actually going to get another one um, because I'm using this this one right now for like a personal one. But um, when I was reading it and I was filling out um, the stuff in here, I thought this would be like a really good, like um, like a reflection on like your business goals and um, like what you've done for your business. And it's called the five minute productivity journal. Pretty cool. Um, so I got this on Amazon. It was like eight bucks and then with taxes and everything, it rounded it up to like nine bucks. So it's not expensive. It's really cool. Um, and it just has like little quotes in there um, and just, you know, a way to reflect on, you know, your goals, um, your day-to-day -day things. So um, this is like the first page. It says getting started. I um, mean, it's got like six different things um, to go over, but it has a life wheel in here. So like I said, I'm using this one right now as a personal one. And it has like your self-care, your health, your fitness, love, social, money, career, education, and you fill it in. Um, and you always want to leave like, you know, one or two, it's almost like rating yourself, like from one to zero, or one to zero, one to 10, I guess. So it's pretty cool. Um, but let me go back. So like the first one, it says, set your SMART goals. That sounds pretty familiar. I'm pretty sure we've said it multiple times. Courtney has said it. Um, SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Much of our success with goals lies in how we structure them and how we hold ourselves accountable. The SMART goal structure sets you up for success because it helps break down large goals into logical, achievable chunks that can be completed within a specific or specified time frame. Um, and then the second one says, find a morning that, or finding a morning routine that works for you. A morning routine can help make you more productive the rest of your day. You might hit the ground running, or you might need some quiet time. Do what works best for you when you find an option that feels right. Keep doing it until it becomes a habit, right? So like when people listen to podcasts in the morning time, um, or read their book, you know, or get up super early, like, um, Tracy, I'm pretty sure she's waking up the roosters. Okay. The roosters aren't waking her up. She is waking them up because she gets up like, like two o'clock in the morning. Just kidding. It's like three, but, um, so she has to start like super early to be able to get, you know, everything that she needs before she wakes up everybody else. And that's like her time. Um, and that sets her tone for the day for me. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I struggle getting up early, but when I do, I, you know, get up, take my three steps. I stretch like that. I have to stretch every morning, no matter if I wake up late or early, because that's like waking my body up. That's making me feel good before I can start doing anything else. So find something that works for you. Do it for 20 days. I've always heard that, um, you do something consistently for 20 days. It's going to turn into a habit. So challenge yourself to do it, you know, consistently. Um, the third one says, tackle your biggest task first thing in the morning. So what do we always do? Or what do we always say? Eat the frog, whatever, you know, what Trace said the other day. So whatever you feel like you have the hardest time doing, whether if it, if it is like a mindset thing, like you keep saying you want to read a book, but you just can't because something's getting in the way. If that's hard for you, like read like, you know, a page, you know, challenge yourself, do that. Um, if you have trouble with RCMs, you know, if that's what you want to do first thing in the morning, then do that the first thing in the morning. Um, morning in the, is the most productive time of your day for most people. If you have a task you find yourself dreading or the task is the biggest one on your to-do list, that's what you should do or that's what you should pri to prioritize. Um, tackle it first thing in the morning to maximize, maximize your productivity. So do what you have the hardest time doing and your day is going to go really, really good because you're going to feel like I accomplished that. I can check it off my list and you're going to feel amazing. So um, do that. Plan and plan and prioritize. So planning Zooms, get on them because they're super helpful. Um, do like a checklist. Um, I have like a whiteboard in the kitchen and that's where I spend most of my time. I live in an apartment, so it's super small. 
And it's easy for me to um, look in the kitchen and like I see, you know, my list or my calendar and what I have to do, like bills, um, go grocery shopping, you know, keep the kids alive, you know, the general stuff. Um, so always plan and prioritize, even if you have to fit in, like, you know, deep cleaning the bathroom one day, the next day, you know, doing all the laundry. Like sometimes you have to write those in because we get caught up in everything else. And those things seem so easy to remember to do, but like, it can be very overwhelming. So sometimes you have to schedule that in. Like myself, I was never a scheduling person, like, nope, nope. And like now I have to, and sometimes I do fall short of like keeping on track, but for the most part, it really, really does help me. Um, and if you have a, if you have a hard time, like remembering to look in your planner, take expand because that's, it's going to help a lot, at least for me. So plan and prioritize. You probably have more on your to-do list than you can reasonably get done in a day. That's where planning comes in. When you plan ahead and prioritize, you go into your day knowing what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. This saves valuable time that's usually lost in regrouping and trying to decide on next steps, right? Like how many times have we were like, have we thought like, I got to do this, 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 and you try to do all of them and then you get like overwhelmed and you just don't want to do it. And your day is just thrown off. Um, number five is reflect and evaluate your goals. So sometimes we get so busy setting goals that we forget to pause and reflect to make sure those goals are still aligned with what we want. Goals aren't designed to be rigid, but they're not set in stone either. They can be tweaked, tailored to help you reach your overall purpose at any time. If you never stop to evaluate and reflect, how will you know if your goals are really working to propel you forward? So, you know, and this is like the whole book right here is to evaluate your day, reflect on your day. Like, did you get all the things you needed to do? Um, can you go to bed knowing that you've done like all that you can do during the day, especially with our business? Like, um, you know, if you're not like a pen and paper kind of person and um, you're not organized, like, how do you really know if you're getting all the things you need to get done? Like, um, you probably have you know, a lot of people underneath you, like, are you really checking in with them and just having them um, like on a pen and paper really helps kind of keep that organized. Um, and you can always go back, you know, with your to-do list as well. And just know that you, you can sit down at nighttime and look at your to-do list, like, okay, I checked this off. I did this. I did this. Oh, I forgot to do this. Well, I'll make sure I'll do that first thing in the morning time kind of a thing. Um, number six is schedule white space into your day. White space is exactly what it sounds like, a blank area. In a picture, white space serves an important role. It draws the eye to focus on what's colored in. Without white space, the image becomes too busy, and it's hard to focus on the main picture. When we fill our lives with constant business, it does the same. When we, when we find ourselves running and, and flitting, from one thing to the next until we're exhausted in that state we can't focus on any one on any one thing take the time to recharge leisure activities and rest will help you focus better you aren't a machine you can be constantly efficient plan some downtime in your day just for you relax spend time with your family engage in healthy and creative hobbies that bring you happiness and peace this white space in your day will allow you to recharge your batteries so so we always say you know work your business but you don't have to work it all day right and this is where planning comes in make time to sit down with your family you know this is why we're able to um i guess a lot of people's goals is to work from home because you're, you have a business where you can literally work it anywhere. So being able to like, you know, have your family time and um, doing something that you really love, like painting or, you know, doing exercise or whatever, this is our goal or a lot of people's goals is to be able to spend that family time while they're working with the, their business. So um, in this life wheel that I was showing you guys earlier, um, this is the example, but there's, you know, white spaces and you just kind of want to, um, you know, fill it in like this is mine from yesterday or not yesterday when I first filled it out like I put um, for my personal one I put friendship spiritual growth marriage money business environment kids mental health friend friendship I think I said that right so there's eight spots to the wheel. Um, so 
like I said, you kind of like want to rate yourself like one from 10. Um, and you want to be really honest for this to work. So friendship, I left one, um, one blank because that's really huge for me. Um, so I left one blank. Sometimes I fall short of like, you know, being there for somebody, spiritual growth. This is something new for me. I really want to get into my, you know, my spiritual growth. So I left two blank and I colored the rest in. So marriage, um, no marriage is hard. So I left two blank and I colored the rest in money. Money is always like the biggest thing. Like sometimes um, I have a hard time saving. Um, <laughs> and so I want to, I want to get better at that. And I want to be able to maintain um, knowing that like I put a little back or whatever. So I left one, two, three, four. I left four white spaces. Um, business, I left one space. And then environment, I left four spaces as well because environment is huge for me. Um, so I want to make sure that I can focus on that all day or not all day, but a lot of the times in kids. Um, sometimes I can, you know, kids are hard. So I left one space open. Mental health, I left two because um, a lot of times it's hard getting into like a good mindset. So I really want to work on that. And friendship, I did that. Um, but you want to, for your life wheel, choose themes that you feel the most meaningful to you right now. You can split the wedges and add more themes if you need to, depending on how specific you want to be. Um, likewise, you can also have fewer wedges. Your life wheel is totally customizable. Um, there's some um, ideas that you can put like health, fitness, love, romance, money, kids, extended family, um, just things like that. Um, but when you fill in your life wheel by identifying eight or more areas of your life that are meaningful to you, color the bars and open versions of the life wheel in, your each, in each section to indicate how satisfied you are with each area of your life. Your areas don't have to be the same as the example. You'll find a blank life wheel after every 25 or so journal entries. This will help you see progress in each area as you use this journal. Part of an effective goal strategy is stopping to evaluate your goals to see if they're working for you or not. This life wheel is a powerful tool for you to do just that. Um, the blank life wheel, the blank life wheels will be blank circle graphs only, allowing you to customize them to your best fit of needs. Um, and it also says, I highlighted this, um, the life wheel is here to help you find gaps um, so you can fill them in and monitor your areas of life that still need work, right? So like when I was showing you guys the um, white spaces that I left, can you show the cover? This, this is what you're talking about? Yeah, that was it. I was trying to show Veronica what it looks like because she was trying okay. to find it too. Okay. Um, and I can always uh, take a picture and send it through uh, Thrive Army. Um, uh, where I leave off. Okay. We all juggle multiple things in our lives. When you concentrate time and effort in one area, it goes up, but inevitably, inevitably <laughs> other areas fall in the juggling act. And that's okay. Um, what the life will tell you is which things have fallen or are falling. Um, so you know where to pick them back up when you can. Um, so that was my, uh, that was mine, but I wanted to go over like a business wheel. Um, so I told you I was getting another one just for a business wheel because um, I feel like it needs a separate one, or at least I think I do. So um, the eight um, the eight spots that I want to fill in when I get it is auto ship customers. Have you checked on? Have you checked in on them? Like not just about Thrive, like their day to day, you know, family things. What's going on with them? Like. Um, like Tra Tracy says time and time again, like you just don't want them to feel like they're just a sale. So have you checked on your auto ship customers? Have you sent them goodies? Like um, it's nice to feel that, you know, you got a goodie from, you know, the person you're buying from. So they know that like, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you for, you know, um, trusting me and buying from me, et cetera. So um, make sure you check in with the auto ship customers. So that's one of them I have. Um, adding new people. Have you been in your groups? You know, the, the suggested friends groups, that's most likely the people that um, are friends with other thrivers. Um, sometimes it's, you know, family members or whatever, but you want to make sure you're, you know, adding in your groups or, you know, um, on Instagram, finding people from there. 
Um, or, you know, even if it's like, have you created like a business card? Like, um, are you handing them out um, to people? Um, things like that. You always want to add new people. Um, promoters, have you, have you checked in on them? Like, again, this is kind of like with auto ship customers. Um, have you checked in on them? Um, I guess if you have a group check, so not everybody, you know, can go in and, you know, message them separately. Like, Hey, how are you doing? If you can, that's awesome. Like I give you props. <laughs> um, but you know, have you created maybe a group chat for your promoters? You know, um, have you just, have like conversations besides just business. Um, have you done one-on-one -on -one Zooms? Um, those are super helpful to a lot of people. Um, have you been in three-way chats? Um, that's, so that's another one that I wanted to add. Um, one, two, three. So this is the fourth one, um, kept up with your inventory. Um, I don't know if um, you guys do this, if you have like a personal stash or, um, you know, a mini stash or, you know, your business stash, I, I guess I should say. So um, keep up with your inventory. It's really nice. I did that um, yesterday. And it's really nice to know what you have on deck. So like if you're running a promo, um, you can just pull out, you know, that notebook or whatever and like, okay, I have this, this, this. Oh, I really need to get that. Cause that could be like a really cool giveaway or something. Um, so the fifth one was plugged in with your upline. Um, sometimes it can be really hard, especially if we feel like, um, yeah, for the people that's jumping on, I'm going over this book that I had just gotten. Um, I'll send it into a Thrive Army as well, but it's a life wheel. Um, and you just kind of fill it in to where, you know, we have a lot to juggle and it's really nice mm -hmm. to know like and reflect what we've done, um, like what we've fallen short of and stuff like that. Um, I say plug in with your upline. So sometimes a lot of people may feel like, you know, you can do this by yourself, um, that you think you're doing really good, but maybe you just need like, you know, an idea with something, or um, you just want to talk to your upline and make sure you're doing something right. So it's really nice to have that in your circle as well. So you know that um, you're doing really good with your business and find ways that maybe they can help you with. Um, mindset. Um, this is a huge thing because um, people have a hard time keeping a good positive mindset. Um, sometimes I do. Um, so, you know, have you read a book today? Have you listened to a podcast? Have you? Yeah, it's literally the hardest thing we can do. So it's really nice to add that in your circle, too, if you decide to get this book. Um, have you like, you know, went out and did something for yourself? Have you talked to a friend or your friends, you know, go out with your friends, you know, I guess like a self-care kind of a thing, because um, that's really good for your mindset. Um, leadership. Um, so a lot of people may do this, you know, part-time. Some people are doing this full-time and really want to take it to the next um, step. You know, being in a leadership role is a huge thing. This is your business. Um, so I feel like um, being responsible and, you um, you know, being a leader and stuff like that is really big as well. So have you like um, challenge yourself to do a Zoom? Have you stepped out of your comfort zone to do a Zoom? Have you volunteered? Um, even if it's just, you know, for your own little promoters um, group or whatever. Um, have you uh, hosted an online event? That can be really big too, um, you know, where people do like their testimonies, um, giveaways, things like that. Um, so, you know, step up into the next level into leadership. Um, and then the last one, let me make sure I count this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yes. Um, kept up with your slides, um, your post. So, um, you know, are you doing opportunity slides? Sometimes we can forget that we're, um, you know, what we're posting in our stories. So, um, are you doing opportunity slides? Uh, I, honestly, I should be doing, I'm not doing, but I should be doing it every week, right? They fade away after 24 hours. So you wanna have that constantly, you know, put up there. There's lots of apps like Mojo app, um, Unfold, Canva. Um, I think I'm missing another one. There's, you know, all kinds of apps. So make them fun, make them you. Um, are you thriving out loud? Um, that's probably really important in our stories. We're showing people how we are feeling, what are we doing, 
Um, you know, us thrivers, we're fun. Woo! So you want to make sure you're thriving out loud in your stories all times. And the most important part is three steps. Are you putting your three steps in there, right? People are watching you. They want to make sure that you're, this is like a consist, a consistent thing. Um, so they want to make sure that, you know, you're doing every day, not falling short um, because they want to make sure that it's something that um, it's not just like a fad, you know, or a trend or something. So make sure you're always throwing in your three steps. Sometimes it even helps. Like if um, you forget to do it, just make like um, a picture, put it in like a, um, you know, put it in one of the apps, like the Mojo, make cute slides. That way you can save them for later. Like if you do forget to put it in there, you can go into your like albums of like, you know, your three steps and put up your three steps. Super easy. Um, and shouting out customers, you always want to shout out your customers. Um, that way they, people can see like, oh, hey, she really is getting people. She's not just like saying that she is or something. And it's really nice, um, especially for us promoters to be shouted out. So um, it's really nice for a customer to feel shouted out because this is something exciting for them. You know, you want to hype them up at all times. So make sure you're shouting out customers. Um, and that's all I have for the business circle that I want to do. But um, so like the first page of this life wheel, um, it has like questions. You know, let's start your goal setting. The first part of your goal setting is understanding your values, your priorities. Then you can go forward with confidence in pursuing your goals to best understand your values and priorities. Let's take self-inquiry and set this deep. Oh my gosh and a step deeper in order to pinpoint some meaningful goals. So what does productivity mean to you? Um, write down the five things most important to you in order um, of importance. Um, for example, my top ranking includes, um, that's just their examples. Um, now that you've completed your life wheel, you might have deeper insights into how you feel about your current life circumstances or your business circumstances, whatever you may choose. Um, what sections of your life do you think that you need to work on? Pick one to focus on first and make sure it follows the SMART goal format, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Um, in order to stay true to ourselves, we must operate within the scope of our values. For example, two of my values are, this is an example in the book, um, two of my values are honesty um, and authenticity. Oh my gosh. Um, knowing your core values helps you set personal and professional boundaries and can help you um, with your goals. Um, so it says list your core values. Um, and this is really good for what you want in promoters, right? We want good quality promoters, um, somebody who, um, you know, go, goes into resources, um, you know, be honest about themselves, respect themselves, um, respect, you know, what you want to know, um, promoter, a team player, that's huge, because um, you guys are a team, and you want to, you know, move forward with your, um, you know, your goal. so that's a huge thing, self-improvement, you always want to work on yourselves, um, and self-discipline, those are mine. Um, and then where are you going? If you continue down this path you're on, where will you end up? Um, is this where you wanna be? Um, what do you really want? Uh, this is the last of the three magic questions from self-discipline in six weeks. The answer is what I refer to as your big why. Um, this will be the reason and drive behind your goal sets. It fuels your motivation and keeps you going forward when you want to quit. So what do you want? Like this, this whole thing right here is for you to really, yes, let me mute that. <laughs> Bethany, I'm going to mute you. Sorry. I love you. <laughs> okay. I love hearing Lex, but I was like, you're going in and out. I'm like, crap, am I missing something in between here? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Am I good? Yeah, I can. It could just be my service to my internet. It's been really crappy. It's been really windy around here. So, okay. Um, so this whole thing right here, you want to be honest with yourself. Like you don't have to share it, share it with anybody, but if you want to, that's great. You know, it's really good to get like an insight of, um, you know, a different perspective, but this is for you. So be honest with yourself in order for this to work. You have to be honest with yourself. Um, what are some of the challenges you face? What are your strengths? What are, um, what's one habit you'll keep and what's one habit you'll get rid of? So um, that is like the starting of your wheel. 
and then it gets into like um uh it gets into like um your reflection of your day so you put your date your time and your location um and then it says like um i feel like how do you feel whenever you write um when you're starting to write like do you feel productive do you feel stressed do you feel um you know whatever whatever emotion you're feeling why do you feel this way <clears throat> um and how did it go yesterday um yesterday's productivity um what did you do yesterday today's follow through so what did you do yesterday that you didn't get to or what you felt yesterday that you wanted to change today um, yesterday's act of self-care, what did you do for yourself? Whether it's, you know, a mental thing um, or going out and, you know, doing your nails, going out to lunch with a friend, what did you do for yourself? Um, and cleaning is not it. Go do something for yourself. <laughs> um, and then what are you grateful for? Um, this is one of the things that I do every morning when I wake up no matter what, like I'll sit there, even if like I'm laying in bed, like what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my kids, my husband, my life, my business, um, having a roof over my head. You always have something to be grateful for, even if you feel like um, you don't have anything. There's, al there's always something. Um, and then, um, then it says your top priority for today. Um, so what is your main focus on for the day? And then what I'll do to support my top priority. So think of something that's going to help you get that done. And then it just gives you um, three steps, like a little checkoff list right there. If you can see it, like right there. Um, so like step one. Um, so say like my top priority is to, um, I don't know, go through my inventory. Okay, we'll do that. So step one find some quiet time. So, um, you know, get your kids to do something. Um, if you have no kids, um, you know, put your husband in a different room, shut the TV off, you know, do something, find a quiet space. Um, you know, step two, getting a piece of paper and a pen, a notebook, um, preferably a notebook that way, um, you know, it's easy. It's like one thing that, you know, you don't have to constantly getting papers. You can keep up with it. Um, and then step three, um, going through your inventory. So, um, you know, just checking off what you have and what you don't have. Um, and then workday stopping time. So give yourself a time where you just want to stop working your business. Uh, I mean, you should always work your business, but like, you know, there's a time where, you know, we should stop and be time with family or, you know, stop because you feel like you've done a lot that day or something like, so give yourself a stopping point. Um, that way you don't feel like, um, you know, you're constantly doing it um, and you don't get like, you know, burnout, worn out, et cetera. And then I really like this part. Um, it says your little challenge for the day. So this one says, um, say hello to a stranger today. Um, you know, be, be happy, say hi, you know, I don't know, talk to new people. This is a great way to talk to new people by saying, you know, hello. Um, <clears throat> funny story, the other day uh, when I was driving with the kids and it was really nice out, we had our windows down and we were at a stoplight and I was playing with James. He was saying, ah, zombie. And the car next to me had their windows down. I'm like, ah, I'm a zombie. I'm gonna get you. And both of them looked over at me and started laughing and we were sitting there for like two minutes just chit-chatting back and forth so um I thought that was cool and kind of weird but um and then it gives you a quote um it says there's different ones but this one says don't be too timid too squeamish about your actions all life is an experiment the more experiments you make the better um Ralph Waldo Emerson and then um, on the bottom of it, it says vent, rejoice, plan, note, list. Like how vent to your piece of paper, rejoice in something that you've done today, you know, shut yourself out, note something down, um, et cetera. And then, um, you know, it's just, a, the rest is like that. So you have a whole journal to, you know, reflect on your day. Um, but business-wise, that's my life will that I want to do. And, um, you know, self-reflect at the end of the night, you know, preferably at my ending time and go over my wheel and see if I did good, where I've fallen short, um, just things like that. So that is all I have for you guys today. Do you have any questions? 
I don't have a question, but I have a book that I just got the other day that I think will go really well with that. I'm going to start them both whenever the one that you're talking about comes in, but yeah. it's the manifesting journal, whatever it says a bad word. I'm sorry. I'm a bad, whatever woman. And I get what I manifest. And it's literally, it's supposed to take you five to 10 minutes to do it as well. Um, and you're, you're writing literally just the same thing that you want to manifest over and over and over. So it might be something I'm going to do it right after I do that. So it's going to be just incorporated in my morning routine, do my Bible journal, do this productivity one, and then do my manifesting each day and see how March turns out. Hopefully they can get us to 200K. <laughs> Adding these two books in, hopefully we'll do it. So thank you for sharing this book. I'm super excited about it. I already ordered it and I ordered the workbook for the Think and Grow Rich book that, that Paul's all excited about. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So yeah, that is all I have for you today. And um, I can send I it over into Thrive Army if anybody's missed it. Go ahead. I have one question. Um, yeah. I have sent like sheets and stuff. Um, you know, when like you say your thank you and stuff, when you give the minis and everything. And I've noticed that like I've had a come few comebacks that people that don't want to even post it online. So how can that go about without sounding pushy or whatnot at that point? Because some people don't even like other people knowing what's going on with their life. And I've realized that a lot lately. Um well, I guess maybe the best way is um, without sounding, you know, to like thrive for free. Sorry, my son is like half naked in the back. Um, yeah, I have plenty of them out there and like they have friends that have signed on. They have like one friend and they're still missing like that second friend. And I'm like, if you could just, you know, make that little bit of a post, but how can I go about like wording that without sounding like, hey, you need to kind of do this in a way. Right. Um, maybe just kind of like hyping them up like, girl, you just got like your first referral. You just need one more. You know, we got this, you know, um, I can help you. Um, or if you have an extra person, you know, to stack your customers, you can always give that, um, you know, give them that one person that you have that's, um, you know, wanting to buy. So uh, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> That's where I'm um, stuck at too, is I have customers that stack underneath them, but I want to see like right. the effort. So trying to like enforce the effort in a sense. Um, maybe like tell them to, you know, post in their stories, like what they're doing in the day, um, you know, encourage them to um, show people through their stories. Maybe that could, cause it's not like, you know, they're not on there posting like, oh, I'm on day, you know, um, day six or day 10 or something, or you know, day 30 and I feel so good, blah, 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 blah. Maybe encourage them to um, show their day-to-day um, -day stuff in their stories. And then um, hopefully someone's like, girl, what you doing? I need some of that. Like, <laughs> um, you know, that's how it all kind of, that's how most yeah. of my came about. And uh, I mean, like I've asked them personally and I put their stuff up personally. So maybe that's a downfall for me. I need to ask you know, we're reword and have them do it themselves instead of me all the time. Right. Um, or maybe like, um, I guess if they refer to customer, you know, make a post and tag them in it. Um, that way, um, cause it's gonna like go on there unless if they don't, um, have to approve it, it's going to automatically go to their, um, their Facebook page. So maybe like, I'm so excited that my friends, um, I don't know, my friend, whatever her name is, is uh, one step closer to thriving for free. I'm super excited, um, you know, stuff like that. So um, maybe tag her into a post and that's going to automatically go over there. Um, and especially if people comment on that, that's always going to, um, and if you time it out, because uh, after 45 minutes, you know, you um, write like a comment under that, it's going to like bump it back up. So try to keep bumping that up. That way it's still showing on, you um, her feed and then her friends will be able to see it on her feed. Um, so maybe that's another idea too. Okay, awesome, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it like shows me like the different perspective of it because I'm like sitting here and I'm like, they want it, they, they're they like going for yeah. it. I'm like, but you kind of need to put a little bit of effort in on your behalf. It can't just be me all the time. <laughs> right, so, well, yeah. Just that's going that's and I'll just start tagging. Yeah, that's a good idea. Awesome. Um, thank you. More questions, you're very welcome. Oops, that's participants. Let me look in the chat real quick. All right. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions, that is all I have for you. And thank you so much for being here with me, y'all. 
Um, you guys make me so happy. Um, and I hope you have a kick butt day today. Go team, hoorah, let's do it. Um, I want 20 customers this weekend, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of not. But all right, I hope you guys have a really good day and yeah, all right. Peace out guys.